Is boasting useful? Of course it's useless, that's because bragging doesn't require paying taxes. Li Tianyu suddenly became the host of the bragging tax system, and everything became different. Because only he boasted that he needed to pay taxes Li Tianyu. I have a suite on the third ring road of the imperial capital. System. Please pay a tax of 6,000 yuan to obtain a residential property on the third ring road of the imperial capital. Li Tianyu. I have a Porsche Cayenne. System. Please pay a tax of 850 yuan to obtain a high dot end Porsche Cayenne model. Li Tianyu. I am a business elite. System. Please pay a tax of 58,000 yuan to comprehensively improve the quality of the host. QQ Group 8317347444 Keywords of the Novel Shenhao starts from boasting and paying taxes without a pop.up window, Shenhao starts from boasting and paying taxes with a full TXT download, and Shenhao starts from boasting and paying taxes with the latest chapters to read. 1. Chapter 1 it's okay to boast, isn't it? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 It's okay to boast, right? It was already 8 o'clock in the evening, but the Jinyun building located on the North Fourth Ring Road of the Imperial Capital was still brightly lit. There are many internet technology companies in this building, basically working late at night. The reality may be even worse than the legendary 996. As a research and development planner for a technology company, Li Tianyu cannot leave. However, he is not the type of person who works diligently and takes advantage of the department leaders going to meetings to wander around the company. Li Tianming accidentally saw that Lu Manchi didn't leave either. Lu Manchi is from the administrative department, so theoretically there is no need to work overtime so late. Li Tianyu is currently bored and teasing beautiful women to pass the time is also good. Hi, Manchi. Lu Manchi looked up and saw that it was Li Tianyu, but politely greeted him. Why haven't you left yet? I still have some things to tidy up, so I'll leave after finishing, Lu Manchi replied. Lu Manchi is indeed a beautiful woman, and can be considered the most beautiful one in the company. She is 1.65 meters tall, neither tall or short, with areas that should be thin and areas that should have meat quite plump. Of course, the face is also quite delicate, completely the type that Li Tianyu likes. But it's obvious that Lu Manchi doesn't really want to talk to Li Tianyu. Li Tianyu, however, disregarded her attitude and continued to forcefully approach her. Manchi, do you want to go hiking on the weekend? I heard there are several good places in Changbei, with mountains and water, it's really fun. I won't go. What do you like to do? Go shopping. Watch movies. I don't like anything, I just like to rest at home. Li Tianyu didn't give up and was about to speak again when he saw Gao Ping walking over. Gao Ping is also from the administrative department, slightly older than Lu Manchi, with an average appearance and a sharp tongue. Usually, Gao Ping couldn't stand Li Tianyu, who was lazy and not very ambitious. Li Tianyu, what are you doing? Are you harassing us, Miss Lu, again? What are you saying? What kind of harassment am I? Li Tianyu was unhappy. Cut, it's not harassment. What is it? Do you still want to invite Manchi out? Do you have the qualifications? Oh, what qualifications do we need to invite her out to play? I'll ask you, do you have a car? No. Do you have a room? No. Do you have any savings? Dot. Gao Ping disdainfully spread out her hand and said, You said you are a person with no qualifications. What qualifications do you have to invite a beautiful woman out? Three numbers I. Li Tianyu said here, feeling a bit embarrassed and angry. How come I have three numbers? I'll tell you, I'm about to buy a house. Upon hearing this, Gao Ping and Lu Manchi were both stunned. The housing prices in the imperial capital are currently the highest in the country, 
even in the suburbs they cost around 40,000 to 50,000 square meters, which most people cannot afford. Moreover, Li Tianyu's salary is only around 10,000 yuan at most. He doesn't eat or drink, and he can't afford to live in a house in the capital for decades. Gao Ping laughed and said, You. Buying a house. Yeah, what's wrong? So, where can I buy it? My hometown. I'll buy it in the imperial capital. Yo, where is the imperial capital? In. In. Right on the third ring road. Li Tianyu said confidently. Lu Manchi glanced at Gao Ping and said, the house on the third ring road. Why would it cost around 70,000 to 80,000 square meters? Gao Ping chuckled and said, Li Tianyu, this cow is not easy to boast about. Obviously, neither of these people believed it and felt that Li Tianyu was bragging. The fact is that even in his hometown, Li Tianyu cannot afford to buy a house, let alone in the third ring road of the imperial capital. But this cow has already been blown out, and it's really difficult for Li Tianyu to retrieve it. Am I bragging? You just have to wait and see. Gao Ping squinted her eyes and said, Okay, when you buy a house, can we go and visit it? Of course you can. Then don't forget, and don't make us wait too long either. Don't worry, it won't be too long. After Li Tianyu finished speaking, he quickly walked away, and if he continued, he would reveal his true feelings. Looking at Li Tianyu's back, Gao Ping said disdainfully, I don't have any other skills. I'm quite skilled at boasting, Manchi. You should pay less attention to people like this in the future. Lu Manchi nodded and said, hmm. Although Gao Ping's voice was not loud, Li Tianyu could hear clearly and secretly scolded Gao Ping for meddling in her affairs. Damn it. It's none of my business to pick up girls, it's not her. Li Tianyu also had some regrets. He shouldn't have boasted so much. Buying a house in the imperial capital is clearly impossible for him as a small planner. Speaking of which, it is said that boasting does not pay taxes, but Li Tianyu would like to pay some taxes as long as he can realize this boasting. This idea had just flashed through Li Tianyu's mind when he suddenly heard a voice. Once the conditions are met, the boastful tax payment system will start loading. 10%. 25%. 45%. 70%. 85%. Complete startup. Suddenly, a semi-transparent interface appeared in front of Li Tianyu. What kind of thing? Li Tianyu scratched in the void and couldn't touch anything at all. However, the content displayed on the interface surprised him greatly. End of this chapter Chapter 2 Taxation is really useful. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Taxation is really useful Li Tianyu realized that the interface should be directly reflected in his mind. Name Li Tianyu, Level Rookie, Current Wealth 13,250 yuan soft sister coins, daily tax amount. 10,000 yuan in soft coins, order center. Click to enter, task panel. Click to enter very simple personal information. But what does this really mean? Sleeping slot. Li Tianyu finally realized that current wealth is really all his savings now. He is just a member of the Moonlight Clan and he finally managed to save over 10,000 yuan. But what the hell is the daily tax cap? There are also mall and task, which seem to be buttons. Li Tianyu instinctively clicked the button on the thmall. The interface has switched and the displayed content has completely changed. Community name. Fanhua Village Community Location. East 4th Ring Road, Building Type. Multi-Story. Room number. 502, Unit 3, Building 5 Room Area. 105 Square Meters, Tax Amount. 7,300 Yuan in Soft Currency, Community Name. Wenting Yayuan, Community Location. North 5th Ring Road, Building Type. High Rise Tower, 
Room Number Building 23, 2112 Room Area 95 Square Meters, Tax Amount 4,700 Yuan in Soft Currency, Community Name Shuemu Qingcheng, Community Location North Third Ring Road, Building Type High Rise Slab Building, Room Number Room 1301, Unit 3, Building 11 Room Area 85 Square Meters, Tax Amount 6,800 yuan in soft currency Li Tianyu was momentarily confused when he saw this information. What is this special thing? Is it a real estate advertisement? Suddenly, a text prompt appeared in Li Tianyu's mind. System tip after the host boasts, the system will conduct a feasibility analysis. If the boast can be achieved, then a plan will be listed in the order center. The host can choose a solution by paying taxes and boasting about it. Sleeping trough. Is it really fake? Can boasting be taxed? And after paying taxes, can we still achieve what we boast about? Li Tianyu looked at the houses that were displayed again, and indeed, there was a tax amount item at the bottom. You can get a house for a few thousand yuan. Li Tianyu carefully looked at the three houses in the order center, located on the East 4th Ring Road, North 5th Ring Road, and North 3rd Ring Road. Especially in the Shuemu Qingqing community, Li Tianming has really been there, not far from the company, and it is indeed located on the North 3rd Ring Road of the Imperial Capital. The location is very good, although the community is not large, the environment inside is good, and the surrounding facilities are complete. Li Tianyu originally wanted to rent a single room inside, but the rent was extremely expensive, costing over 3,000 yuan per month. What about boasting about this? No, it's just boasting that the tax system is not good. You only need to pay a tax of over 6,000 yuan to get a house of over 80 square meters in Shuemu Qingqing community, which should be a two-bedroom apartment. What are you hesitating about? The houses on the North Third Ring Road are quite impressive. Li Tianyu directly clicked in and then popped the following message. System prompt, you will pay a tax of 6,800 yuan in soft coins and receive 1301, Unit 3, Building 11, Shuemu Qingcheng. Are you sure? Sure. Li Tianyu felt excited and clicked the confirm button. The system interface has disappeared. One minute has passed three minutes have passed ten minutes have passed Li Tianyu stood still, as if nothing had happened. Lying trough. What kind of ghost system is this? Scam me. Li Tianyu was extremely disappointed and couldn't help but curse loudly, which attracted the attention of nearby colleagues. Tianyu, what are you doing here? Li Tianyu looked up and muttered to himself, It's terrible, it's Zhao Jitong. Zhao Jitong is the director of the planning department, it seems that the meeting has ended. I, I just went to the restroom. Lazy donkeys grind feces and pee a lot. Zhao Jitong glared at Li Tianyu, hurry up and get to work. Don't think of leaving if you're too busy today. Okay. Li Tianyu agreed and quickly returned to his workstation, pondering how to cut corners and muddle through today's work. As for what boasting about the tax payment system is, he has long forgotten about it. After finishing his busy work, it was already past 10 o'clock at night. Li Tianyu dragged his tired body and took a taxi back to his residence, which was a rental house located outside the North Fifth Ring Road. This rental house is really impressive. It's only 1,800 yuan per month, but the conditions are poor. It's almost completely unrecorated and just a rough house. But just have a place to sleep, and working in the imperial capital doesn't require too much. Li Tianyu was extremely tired, so he slept on the bed and slept until the next morning. The flower in my heart. I want to take you home, at that late night bar. No matter if it's true or false. Li Tianyu was groggily disturbed by the ringing of his phone. Looking at the watch, it's only seven o'clock. Who really called people so early? Li Tianyu picked up his phone and saw that it was an unfamiliar landline number. Hello, 
Is that Mr. Lee? Yes, I don't buy insurance, I don't have money for financial management, and I can't afford a house. Mr. Lee, I'm not engaged in sales. You have stored the door key with us. Could you please come and pick it up? What? The door key. Li Tianyu sat up suddenly, where is it? Mr. Li, you're really joking. We're from Shuemu Qingqing Property Department. End of this chapter. 3. Chapter 3 Two Bedroom Apartments on the Third Ring Road of the Imperial Capital. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 3 Two Bedrooms on the Third Ring Road of the Imperial Capital. What? Shuemu Qingcheng. Li Tianyu was stunned. Can you say? That system is really useful. Li Tianyu kept talking nonsense and didn't even bother to go to work. He quickly put on his clothes and took the subway to Shuemu Qingqing community. At the community property department, Li Tianyu indeed obtained a set of keys. Li Tianyu ran all the way to Unit 1301, Building 11. Then he inserted the key into the lock of the anti-theft door and gently twisted it, and it really opened. This house is indeed two bedrooms and one living room, with a great layout and orientation. It's brand new inside, and I don't know if it's been renovated. Not only is the decoration style very fashionable, but it also doesn't have much flavor. Furniture and household appliances are also a well-known brand with a wide range of options. Does this house belong to Li Tianyu? What about the property certificate? This question flashed through my mind when I saw a red real estate ownership certificate placed on the coffee table in the living room. Open it and take a look lying trough. The owner's name on it really says, Li Tianyu. Li Tianyu was extremely excited, he really developed this time. Don't stay in that rundown rental house anymore. The boasting tax system is indeed very useful. Li Tianyu suddenly realized that he could have boasted about a few more houses, wouldn't that be even more impressive? Open the system interface and Li Tianyu sees the following information. Name. Li Tianyu, Level. Rookie, Current Wealth. 6,450 Yuan Soft Sister Coins, Daily Tax Amount. 10,000 Yuan in Soft Coins, Order Center. Click to Enter, Task Panel. Click to Enter There are still 6,450 Yuan of Soft Currency left in Wealth This is also normal. Yesterday, I paid a tax of 6,800 Yuan to get this two-bedroom apartment in Shuemu Qingcheng. However, compared to the value of this house, it is simply not worth mentioning. 6,800 yuan is not even enough to rent this house. And as long as you get another house and rent out one of them, there will be a lot of rent coming in immediately, which is like buying a white wolf empty-handed. Li Tianyu directly clicked on the order center, but there was only one small line inside. No boasting information detected. By the way, you need to brag first. Li Tianyu cleared his throat and said, I have more than one house in the imperial capital, there are many. After speaking, Li Tianyu opened the order center again and indeed made new discoveries. Community name. Xiaojie Junjing Community Location. West Second Ring Road, Building Type. Square House Courtyard, Room Number. Number 18 Wanjia Hutong Room Area. 135 square meters, tax amount. 23,800 yuan in soft currency, community name. Dingxiu Houting Community Location. West Third Ring Road, Building Type. High Rise Tower, Room Number. Building 160712 Room Area. 56 square meters, tax amount. 2,700 yuan in soft currency, community name. Nianhuali Community Location East 3rd Ring Road, Building Type Multi-Story, Room Number Room 401, Unit 2, Building 5 Room Area 55 Square Meters, Tax Amount 4,400 Yuan in Soft Currency Li Tianyu looked at these three houses for a while and felt that none of them were suitable. The first set of quadrangles is quite good, but it's too expensive. 
It requires more than 20,000 yuan in taxes, so he doesn't have that much money. The other two sets, one is a tower that I don't like, and the other doesn't have an elevator. It looks like an old residential area, so I don't like it anymore. At this point, Li Tianyu discovered another refresh button and clicked on it. As expected, information about the other three houses appeared. One of the houses caught Li Tianyu's attention. Community name. Yashuiyuan, community location. North 4th Ring Road, building type. Multi-story, room number. Building 7, unit 4, 202 room area. 82 square meters, tax amount. 6,000 yuan in soft coins this house is only 82 square meters, and the taxes that need to be paid are obviously much higher than other houses on the 4th Ring Road. Why is this happening? By the way, it could be a school district room. Li Tianyu immediately opened his phone and checked the map, and as expected, Yashuiyuan was close to the second middle school of the imperial capital. That is a key high school in the imperial capital. The housing prices in school districts are much more expensive than ordinary residential properties. Most importantly, the rent will also double. That's it. Without hesitation, Li Tianyu chose the house in Yashuiyuan and a system confirmation box popped up. System prompt, you will pay a tax of 6,000 yuan in soft coins to obtain Unit 202, Building 7, Yashuiyuan. Are you sure? Li Tianyu hesitated for a moment. All his assets added up to 6,450 yuan, and after paying the 6,000 yuan tax, there were only 450 yuan left. He was really penniless. But just rent out that house, don't be afraid. After clicking the OK button directly, Li Tianyu waited for the property department of Yeshuiyuan to call him. Unexpectedly, after waiting for a few minutes, the person on the phone was not the property management personnel, but the old guard. You left the door key to the guard room last time, come and collect it quickly. How long has it been? If you don't come to collect it, I'll go stay at your house. Li Tianyu quickly said, Oh, I'm going right now. Don't worry, I'll be there soon. End of this chapter. Can he afford to rent a school district house in Chapter 4? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Can he afford to rent a school district house in Chapter 4? Li Tianyu took the subway and went to Yashuiyuan on the North 4th Ring Road. He found the gatekeeper, Mr. Dong, and successfully obtained the key to the door. Upon entering this school district house, one can see that it is still a brand new environmentally friendly decoration and a brand new home appliance. You can easily move in with your bag. However, Li Tianyu doesn't plan to live in this house and needs to rent it out as soon as possible. He only has over 400 yuan to live in now. Li Tianyu was preparing to post rental information online when a phone call came in. Upon checking the caller ID, it was Zhao Jitong, the department director, who called. Oh no, it's already 10.30 now and I'm already late, hello, Li Tianyu, where are you, kid? I. Li Tianyu didn't even have the mood to go to work now, so he started to lie up. By the way, Zhao, my parents suddenly came to the imperial capital. I originally wanted to ask you for a leave, but when I was in a hurry, I forgot. Your parents. Didn't you say your cousin came to the capital last time? My cousin. Just left. Isn't it that my parents are here again? You kid, you have a lot of things to do. I'll tell you, the quarterly assessment is coming up soon. You give me a bit of positivity, otherwise I'll be eliminated from the bottom. Don't blame me. Li Tianyu was surprised and quickly said, I know, I know, brother Zhao, I will definitely work hard. Li Tianyu hung up the phone, but to his surprise, another call came in. This time it was really Li Tianyu's mother Yi Tsui Ping calling. Hello, mom, are you missing me? My heartless son, I miss you, but you don't want me. Yi Tsui Ping laughed and cursed. Li Tianyu. Look at what you're saying, I think you're thinking so hard. Yi Tsui Ping. 
don't be poor with me anymore. I'll tell you something important today. Do you have time on Sunday? Li Tianyu said, whether you have time or not depends on what you need to do. Yeet Suaping. Your aunt who is going to introduce you to someone. You must spare me a noon next Sunday, do you hear? Li Tianyu. I won't go. The women you found for me are either crooked melons, crooked dates, or fat people. I'm so embarrassed when I go. Yi Tsuiping said, let me tell you, the one that Aunt Zhou introduced to you this time is different. I guarantee you will like it at a glance. Li Tianyu. Cut, mom, you always exaggerate when you talk. Yi Tsuiping said, I don't care if you believe it or not, you must go to me. If you don't go, don't go home. Li Tianyu had no choice but to say, I understand. I can't go yet. Do we have to go to the point of severing the mother-son relationship? Yi Tsuiping. That's quite similar. Hanging up the phone, Li Tianyu sighed and sat on the sofa, pulling out a cigarette to light, suppressing shock. It's not a big deal just to meet a girl. Li Tianyu hung the rental information online on his phone, hoping to rent out the house as soon as possible. Unexpectedly, within ten minutes, a phone call came in. Listening to the voice, it's a woman. Hello, is that Mr. Li? Yes, it's me. I see that you have a house in Yushuiyuan that you want to rent out, right? Yes, do you want to rent it? Yes, I am in a hurry to find a school district room at Emperor's Second Middle School. Please make sure to rent it to me. Li Tianyu's price on the internet is 15,000 yuan per month, which is not cheap. I didn't expect this woman to not even pay the price, not even look at the house, and just rent it. Li Tianyu thought to himself, was it because his price was still lower? However, now Li Tianyu is also in a hurry to rent out, so he doesn't want to go back on his word and promises the woman to come and see the house tomorrow. The next day happened to be Sunday, and Li Tianyu didn't have to work, so he decided to live in Yeshuiyuan. He made an appointment with that woman at 9 o'clock in the morning. After Li Tianyu woke up at 8 o'clock, he went to the breakfast stall at the entrance of the community to have breakfast. After wolfing down the food on the table, Li Tianyu shouted loudly, Boss, pay the bill. A drawer of steamed stuffed buns, a deep dot fried dough sticks, a bowl of wonton, a bowl of bean curd jelly served with sauce, a total of nineteen soft sister coins. Sleeping slot, boss, you're too expensive, aren't you? Young man, this is a fair price. If you find it too expensive, it's because you haven't earned enough money. Li Tianyu was angry and slapped the twenty yuan on the table, saying, you don't need to change. At this moment, a burst of laughter came over. Ha ha ha, this kid is really capable of pretending. Li Tianyu turned his head and saw a young man sitting over there, with a woman sitting next to him. The key is that the female Li Tianyu still knows her, who is actually a colleague from the company, Gao Ping. Li Tianyu, what a coincidence. Gao Ping pursed her lips and said with a smile, what's wrong? Do you also live here? Li Tianyu was stunned and didn't know how to answer. He doesn't live here, but he has a house here. I don't think so. Most of the houses here are in the school district of Emperor Second Middle School, and the rent is particularly high, said the man. This man is Gao Ping's boyfriend, named Tian Chao, who works at a nearby financial company and is a high-paying individual. No wonder he said such things. How can a person who earns a high salary of 19 yuan afford to rent a school district house here? End of this chapter 5, Chapter 5 Start with 370,000 yuan You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Start with 370,000 yuan Who said I can't afford to rent anymore? Let me tell you, I have a house here. Gao Ping asked in surprise, do you have a house? Are you saying you bought a house here? Of course, I. Didn't you say your house is on the third ring road? This is the fourth ring road. I. Li Tianyu really can't explain, 
can he say that he has achieved both of his boasting? Tian Chao's expression was quite strange. Whether it's the third ring road or the house here, the house price will be 80,000 yuan, and it's not something that anyone can afford. You're right, husband. We'll be able to afford it in the future, right? That's for sure. I promise I can save enough for the down payment of the house within three years. It's a house within the fifth ring road, Gao Ping emphasized. Yes, yes, we must buy a house within the fifth ring road. Li Tianyu felt helpless and cursed inwardly, show your love, die fast. Even if he claims to have two houses now, the two of them won't believe it. Li Tianyu, I think you should give up on Lu Manchi, Gao Ping turned her head and said to Li Tianyu. A girl like her must find someone who has a car and a house, at least a household registration in the imperial capital. If you say you have anything now, don't waste your efforts. The sound of music suddenly rang out. The flower in my heart. I want to take you home, at that late night bar. No matter if it's true or false. Li Tianyu quickly took out his phone and pressed the answer button. Hello, yes, I'm right at the entrance of the community. Have you arrived? Oh, it's by car. Is that the black Audi? Speaking, Li Tianyu waved at a black Audi parked on the street. Two people got out of the car, both women, in their thirties and forties, very beautiful and well-maintained. The other one is a little girl, seemingly a high school student. At the age of ten, he was very tall and slender, with a melon seed face and willow leaf eyebrows. At first glance, he looked like a beautiful embryo. These two people look somewhat imaginative, they are a mother-daughter pair. The mother's name is LV Xiangyan, and the daughter's name is Ku Tongxin. Hello, is that Mr. Li? LV Xiangyan asked. It's me, you guys want to see the house, right? LV Xiangyan took the initiative to shake hands with Li Tianyu and said, Yes, to be honest with you, we have been searching for the school district house of Emperor Second Middle School for a long time. The school is about to start soon, and we can't even rent it. I'm desperate. I didn't expect to see your house online yesterday. Upon hearing their conversation, Gao Ping and Tian Chao were surprised and widened their eyes. Tian Chao whispered, I didn't hear you wrong, did I? Why would this woman ask this guy to look at the house? Gao Ping shook her head. Isn't it true what he said? Does he really have a house here? No, no, he's just a loser. How could he possibly afford a house? At this moment, LV Xianyan asked again, what's the situation with the house? If it hasn't been renovated. Don't worry, fine decoration, complete furniture and appliances. That's great, we don't want it to be too troublesome, so let's. Let's go, I'll take you to take a look right away. Under the stunned gaze of Gao Ping and Tian Chao, Li Tianyu greeted the beautiful mother and daughter into the Yeshuiyuan community. It shouldn't be. Gao Ping couldn't believe it. How could Li Tianyu really have a house in the imperial capital, and it was such an expensive school district house? By the way, could he be a real estate agent? Tian Chao added, part time. Maybe. It's really possible. Gao Ping is an employee of the administrative department in the company, and has the opportunity to be exposed to the specific salaries of all employees. She has a better understanding of Li Tianyu. Li Tianyu's salary is not really high in the current imperial capital, just over 10,000 yuan. After deducting five insurances and one fund every month, he can only get a maximum of 8,000 yuan. It's normal to find a part-time job outside at such a salary level. Thinking of this, Gao Ping felt much more comfortable in her heart. On the other hand, when Li Tianyu opened the door and invited LV Xianyan and Ku Tongxin into the room, the exquisite decoration in the room caught the attention of the mother and son. LV Xianyan's family situation is also very suitable for this house. With a household registration in the imperial capital and a wealthy family background, there are four or five properties in the capital, including one that is still a villa. 
What LV Xianyan is looking for is a clean house that can be packed and moved in. And Li Tianyu's house completely exceeded her needs, so she immediately signed a rental contract with Li Tianyu. Ku Tongxin is going to be promoted to the second year of high school and transferred from another high school. She signed a two-dot-year contract at once. Li Tianyu's bank card immediately received a payment of 370,000 yuan in soft coins. After everything was arranged properly, Li Tianyu happily said goodbye. At this moment, Ku Tongxin sweetly said to Li Tianyu, Thank you, uncle. Li Tianyu looked at the little beauty and said, You're welcome. You can always come to me to solve anything. Okay, then I'll trouble you, LV Xianyan replied. After leaving the Yashuiyuan community, Li Tianyu finally breathed a sigh of relief. There is a saying that goes, you have money in your pocket and don't panic when things happen. Now, let alone having a breakfast of 19 yuan, even if it's 19, Li Tianyu's face doesn't move. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Laozi finally has money. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Laozi finally has money. I have money now, I finally have special wealth. More than 300,000 yuan of soft girl coins has never been a small amount for Li Tianyu, it can be said to be a huge sum of money. The most important thing is that he now has a two-bedroom house to live in, and it is in a prime location like the North Third Ring Road. Li Tianyu returned to his house in Shuemu Qingcheng and suddenly thought to himself, why not rent out this house too? so that he could get hundreds of thousands of yuan in rent again. Sleeping trough. I'm really stupid. People are poor and have short aspirations. With this boastful tax payment system, Li Tianyu can definitely continue to buy real estate. He currently has over 300,000 yuan on his bank card, so no matter how expensive the house is, it should be able to afford taxes. Do whatever you say. Li Tianyu first bought another house in Shuemu Qingcheng, which is close to him and convenient for taking people to see the house. Then, Li Tianyu fell in love with a courtyard house on the North Second Ring Road. This quadrangle is amazing, only a few hundred meters away from Beihai Park and Prince Gong's mansion. The area of this courtyard house is not small, about 400 square meters, probably used to be the residence of a high dot ranking official in the imperial court. Of course, the taxes that need to be paid for this courtyard house are also substantial, reaching 45,000 yuan. If it were in the past, Li Tianyu would definitely say, sleeping in bed. Stealing money. But now it's different. Yi doesn't need money. Li Tianyu clicked the tax payment button without hesitation, but an error prompt popped up. System prompt the tax payment amount has reached the upper limit and cannot be completed. Li Tianyu suddenly remembered that the maximum amount of tax he paid per day was only 10,000 yuan. But this courtyard house has to pay over 40,000 yuan in taxes, which means Li Tianyu cannot successfully pay taxes. System, what's going on? I can't buy anything over 10,000 yuan. To put it correctly, it's the tax amount. The system actually responded. I know, can't I pay higher taxes then? Host, you need to improve your level. Level. Li Tianyu immediately opened the system panel. Name. Li Tianyu, level. Rookie, current wealth. 360,000 yuan soft sister coins, daily tax amount. 10,000 yuan in soft coins, order center. Click to enter, task panel. Click to enter Li Tianyu only then noticed that his level is now rookie. System tip to upgrade from rookie to the next level, it is necessary to have a wealth of 10 million soft girl coins. Li Tianyu cursed several dirty words in secret, it's so shameless. 10 million soft girl coins, isn't that stealing money? I only have 360,000 yuan in my account now. When will I be able to earn 10 million yuan? But there is no way. The system is the final say. Li Tianyu thought for a moment and realized that buying a house and renting it out should make money quickly. 
By the way, Li Tianyu suddenly thought that if he sold two houses, he could quickly raise 10 million yuan. System prompt property obtained through the system is prohibited from sale. Okay, this obvious loophole can't be exploited anymore, we can only make money honestly. Suddenly, a phone call came in. Li Tianyu looked at the caller ID and it was Wu Mingzhi calling. Wu Mingzhi is Li Tianyu's college classmate, and the two are quite good friends. Wu Mingzhi is a local who naturally maintains contact with Li Tianyu, who stayed in the imperial capital, and occasionally goes out to play together. Tianyu, have you been busy lately? Busy. You're so busy, I don't know you yet. I've been fooling around all day, Wu Mingzhi laughed and cursed. Stop talking nonsense, what are you asking me for, kid? Good thing, I have nothing to do today. Let's go drink at the same place. I don't mind, but could your family be willing to do it? She went home today and can't handle me. Li Tianyu found it strange that Wu Mingzhi's girlfriend Jiang Lan is also a local, but she rarely goes home. The reason is to closely monitor Wu Mingzhi 24 hours a day. Most people wouldn't believe this, but it did happen. Li Tianyu was truly impressed at the time. After confirming his relationship with Jiang Lan, Wu Mingzhi finally felt a little relieved, at least not so openly. Today is Sunday, and Jiang Lan should not be returning home at this time unless, what's going on? Did you two argue again? Hi, don't mention it. Let's talk later when we meet. Sure enough, why did Wu Mingzhi find Li Tianyu just to drink a smoky drink? End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Methods of Talking to Beautiful Women You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors. Those teachers in Chapter 8 are much more beautiful than you. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Those teachers in Chapter 8 are much more beautiful than you This beautiful woman's name is Chenanlu. She is very young and has just graduated for over two years. She works for a very famous advertising company in the capital and is a visual designer. Chen Anlu had heard from her colleagues before that the taste of this barbecue restaurant was quite outstanding, so she invited a good friend to come and taste it. The best grilled ones here are lamb kidneys and lamb treasures. As Li Tianyu spoke, his mouth began to drool. I personally like to eat lamb kidney, which is called a burnt outside but tender inside. If I bite it down, it feels like eating ice. Cream cake. The whole taste buds are fried. No, no, it's like 10,000 sheep running in your mouth. You can understand. I. Chen Anlu's face suddenly turned red, making her look so alluring. By the way, let me tell you, besides these two things, there are others. All right, all right, I don't want to know anymore. You hurry up and leave. My friend is coming soon. Is your friend male or female? This. This has nothing to do with you. Li Tianyu was taken aback and immediately asked, What zodiac sign do you have? How did your attitude change so quickly? Chen Anlu gave Li Tianyu a fierce glare. Li Tianyu has a thick skin and doesn't care at all. Beauty, do you have a boyfriend? I have it. Chen Anlu replied in a muffled voice. Li Tianyu chuckled and said, I have learned physiognomy before. After my observation, guess what? What's going on? Your gaze flickered and your expression was subtle, clearly lying. Chen Anlu was speechless after hearing this. What is this man talking nonsense about? Li Tianyu wanted to add more fuel and vinegar. With a single blow, he fell into his soul, but the sound of high heels echoed behind him. Looking back, he saw another beautiful woman. Jai, sit over here. Chen Anlu quickly beckoned the beautiful woman to sit down, and this was her best friend Lin Jai whom she was waiting for. Lin Jai looked at Li Tianyu with a strange expression and said, Who is this? I don't know. Lin Jai understood at a glance at Chen Anlu's expression. Hey, are you interested in Anlu at home? It doesn't matter whether you like it or not, 
can we eat and chat together and make friends? Li Tianyu retorted, unwilling to be outdone. No, my Anlu family has such good conditions. Be careful when making friends with the opposite sex, at least you need to have a certain financial foundation. How do you know I don't have an economic foundation? Ha, then tell me, what is your economic foundation? How much money do you earn per month? Li Tianyu felt angry in his heart and blurted out, I have three properties in the imperial capital, do I have an economic foundation? Upon hearing this, Lin Jai and Chen Anlu looked surprised. Having three houses in the imperial capital is a great wealth, even houses in the suburbs can be worth millions. However, the two beauties didn't believe it much and only thought that Li Tianyu was bragging. If you really have three properties, it's okay, but I'm afraid you're just talking nonsense. If you don't believe me, I can take you to my house later, Li Tianyu said again. Ladies and gentlemen, why don't we add a WeChat account for easy communication? Lin Jiayi suddenly said, Do you have an AV on your phone? Li Tianyu thought he heard it wrong and said, AV. What kind of AV? It's the kind that you guys really like to watch. Li Tianyu laughed and said, So I'm from the same path. Of course I do. Do you want to take a look? Okay, then go back and watch these teachers' performances, don't disturb our tranquility, okay? Li Tianyu didn't expect to be scolded, so he immediately counterattacked, cut, who cares about teasing you? Those teachers are much better looking than you. Lin Jiayi's face changed and she said, you. Li Tianyu stopped immediately and got up to return to his seat. This time, Wu Mingzhi was so overjoyed that Li Tianyu wished he could slap him twice. All right, it's just not done yet, it's not the first time. Come on, keep drinking. The two of them didn't pay attention to the two beautiful women either. They chatted wildly while eating meat and drinking alcohol. I have almost finished eating, and there are still many grilled skewers left on the table. At this moment, Li Tianyu had a sudden idea and picked up a few skewers to walk to Chen Anlu and Lin Jai. Why are you here again? Chen Anlu frowned and said. This kind of string is a specialty here, definitely not elsewhere. You must try it. After Li Tianyu finished speaking, he didn't wait for the beautiful women to respond before walking back. Chen Anlu hesitated for a moment and picked up a string to take a look. Not to mention, I haven't seen this thing before and I don't know what it is. Then, she couldn't help but take a bite. Hey, don't. Lin Jiayi wanted to stop, but before she could, Chen Anlu had already bitten down. Ah. With just a scream, Lin Jiayi's bite erupted into a large amount of juice, even spraying onto her face. What kind of thing is this? Lin Jiayi wiped the juice off her face with a tissue and complained, Oh, you're so stupid. These are cow's eyes, you can't bite like that. Cow. Eyes. Evil. Chen Anlu quickly spat out everything in her mouth. Laughter came from not far away, and Chen Anlu turned her head to see that it was indeed Li Tianyu and Wu Mingzhi laughing and hugging their heads. This guy is too bad, really bad. Chen Anlu glared angrily at Li Tianyu, but the other party threw a big smile, shameless to the extreme. There's nothing good about men. Chen Anlu said angrily. If you don't like men, why don't we fit together? Chen Anlu glared at Lin Jialu and said, Come on, it seems like you like women. By the way, aren't you going on a blind date next weekend? Who is the other person? I don't know, you think I want to go? I just go and handle it casually. Maybe he's a wealthy and handsome person. Cut, do you think the streets are filled with high wealth and handsome people? Chen Anlu had no hope for the mysterious blind date, both inside and outside of her words. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Is just a car, isn't it? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 9 Is just a car, isn't it although Li Tianyu did have three houses, he still had to go to work the next day. At least for now, Li Tianyu has no reason to resign naked, and the time has not come. 
He is a bit worried that if he resigns today, the system will reclaim the house tomorrow. This is equivalent to losing both the wife and the soldiers. The planning department doesn't have any specific work today, and planners including Li Tianyu are generally drawing water. Li Tianyu felt that spending a leisurely day like this was also very wonderful. Unexpectedly, just after noon, more than ten people from the planning department were pulled to a meeting by Director Zhao Ji. Lying trough. What a bother. Li Tianyu cursed inwardly that the thing he dislikes the most is meetings. However, as soon as Li Tianyu entered the conference room, he immediately became happy, and surprisingly, Lu Manchi was also there. Strange, Lu Manchi is from the administrative department, why would she attend the meeting with the planner? The company is going to participate in the 7th Emperor Capital Technology Expo recently, and I think everyone should know about it, Zhao Jitong said slowly. The company leaders have also discussed and decided to have the administrative department take the lead, and then each department will draw a few people to decorate the venue. Li Tianyu recoiled when he heard that he wanted to help decorate the venue. His life motto is, go for the good and let go of the difficulties. He really doesn't want to do such a troublesome thing as decorating a venue. Zhao Jitong asked, all right, planners, have you ever volunteered and volunteered? The conference room fell silent for a moment. These people all have the same faith as Li Tianyu, and they are very afraid of trouble. Okay, since nobody wants to go, I'll just specify it. Li Tianyu quickly lowered his head and silently recited, Can't see me, a hundred times. Li Tianyu, go ahead. At this moment, Li Tianyu was reciting for the 101st time and did not hear it for a moment. Li Tianyu, where are people? The colleague next to him challenged Li Tianyu, and he finally realized. Ah, there it is. Hello, please cooperate with the administrative department and don't be lazy. Upon hearing Zhao Jitong's words, Li Tianyu was completely confused and criticized, Ah. How could it be me? Nonsense, it's you. Zhao Jitong said decisively, Li Tianyu stays here to have a meeting with the people from the administrative department, while the others disperse. There's no way, since I've stepped on it, whether it's dog poop or landmines, I have to endure it. Fortunately, Lu Manchi is also here, and Li Tianyu can still see beautiful women to pass the time. In fact, there are not many people in the administrative department who actually participate in the venue decoration. In addition to Lu Manchi, there is also Zhang Changfang, the head of the administrative department, and another male colleague from the administrative department, Feng Yang. During this meeting, Li Tianyu played with his phone throughout, but didn't listen much to what he said specifically. Anyway, it's led by the administrative department, and you can do whatever they ask you to do later. There's no need to argue with these people. After half an hour, we finally finished discussing. Zhang Changfang said, Okay, Manchi, Feng Yang, you and this Li Tianyu from the planning department will go to the venue later to see the situation there. Lu Manchi and Feng Yang quickly agreed. Zhang Changfang said to Li Tianyu again, Li Tianyu, is there no problem? Okay, no problem, Li Tianyu replied, looking up. Zhang Changfang was a busy person, so he quickly left. There were only three people left in the conference room, including Li Tianyu. Manchi, let's tidy up and leave, Feng Yang said with a smile. Lu Manchi said, okay, how do we get there? Take a taxi. No need, I have a car, just take my car to go. Lu Manchi nodded and glanced at Li Tianyu, then you can join in too. Okay, then I won't hesitate. Li Tianyu had just stood up, but Feng Yang said in a strange tone, is the salary for your planning so low? Apart from the director, the planning department doesn't even have a driver to work, and it's been a miserable situation. Li Tianyu was not a fuel.efficient lamp either, and immediately retorted, cut, you're just amazing driving a rundown car. You don't have much money to buy a car now. Our planning department doesn't drive, it's for green travel, for environmental protection, higher than your consciousness. Do you understand? Oh, okay, you can continue green travel, 
Feng Yang said to Lu Manchi, Manchi, let's go first. This. Isn't that good, is it? There's nothing bad about it. If he wants to pretend to be an environmentalist, let him do it. Speaking, Feng Yang pulled Lu Manchi away. It seems that Feng Yang also has ulterior motives towards Lu Manchi. What a special thing. Isn't it just a car? Wait for me. Li Tianyu thought of something and then changed his mind, isn't it just a luxury car? I can easily own it. Next, Li Tianyu immediately opened the system interface and quickly opened the order center. At first glance, Li Tianyu was overjoyed. Sure enough, various types of cars appeared in the list. Buying a car in the capital now is not just about money, but also about license plate issues. The chance of winning the lottery is lower now than buying lottery tickets. Can the system handle the imperial license plate? End of this chapter. 10. Chapter 10 Driving a Luxury Car to Check In You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Driving a Luxury Car to Check In Li Tianyu doesn't care anymore. Let's get a car and enjoy ourselves first. Vehicle Name Audi Q5L, Vehicle Type SUV, Tax Amount 2000 Yuan in Soft Currency, Vehicle Name Mercedes-Benz E-Dot Class, Vehicle Type Sedan, Tax Amount 2500 Yuan in Soft Currency, Vehicle Name BMW 7 Series, Vehicle Type S Sedan, Tax Amount 3000 Yuan in Soft Currency, Vehicle Name Porsche Cayenne, Vehicle Type SUV, Tax Amount 3500 Yuan in Soft Coins Li Tianyu looked at these four cars and without hesitation, chose the Porsche Cayenne. Although this car requires the highest payment, reaching 3500 Soft Coins. That's almost enough to buy a house in the Imperial Capital, but compared to the actual selling price of this car, it's almost like giving it away. And at least Li Tianyu is also a man with over 300,000 yuan in savings now, a few thousand yuan is nothing. After Li Tianyu successfully paid the taxes, he sat in the conference room and waited. I don't know how the keys to this luxury car will be handed over to Li Tianyu. In no time, Li Tianyu's phone rang. At first glance, the caller ID shows the local phone number in the capital city. Li Tianyu pressed the answer button. Hello, is that Mr. Li? It's me. Hello, I am Wang Feng, a salesperson at the Porsche Weiguang Building 4S store. The procedures for your car reservation have been completed, and you can pick it up now. Li Tianyu immediately asked, is that the Porsche Cayenne? Yes. When would it be convenient for you to pick up the car? The Weiguang building is very close and only a few minutes walk away. I'll be right over. After hanging up the phone, Li Tianyu packed his things and went to the Porsche Weiguang building 4S store. Then he found the salesperson Wang Feng who called him. Wang Feng pointed to a car in the parking lot and said, Mr. Li, this is it. It's really beautiful. The sky blue body, fashionable, classic and stylish, big-toed design, is definitely a fake Porsche Cayenne that pays 10 for 1. Li Tianyu looked at it and found out that the license plates had already been put on, and it was still an imperial license plate. This is your procedure, Wang Feng said with a smile. We have arranged a pick-dot-up ceremony for you. The car pick-dot-up ceremony is just a small red flower, taking a photo, it's not very useful. No need, I'm in a hurry. Looking at Li Tianyu like this, it seems like a delay of one minute would result in losses of several million. Wang Feng quickly familiarized himself with some of the operations of the Porsche Cayenne with Li Tianyu. Speaking of which, Li Tianyu has already obtained his driver's license and often drives in his hometown, so he is not considered a beginner. When he drove on the road, he realized that a luxury car was just a luxury car, it was so easy to drive. The steering is gentle and responsive, and the chassis shock absorber is also moderately soft and hard. Sitting inside the car, 
you can't even hear the sound from outside. How can this be described? Yes. Full of luxury. And the car arranged by the system for Li Tianyu is not a low.end beggar's version, but definitely a top-of-the-line version with a budget of 2 million yuan, a reliable 2.9T turbocharged engine, and powerful. Li Tianyu ran on the road like a child, almost forgetting the main thing. Fortunately, there was no traffic jam. Li Tianyu arrived at the venue, parked his car in the outdoor parking lot, and walked in. The exhibition should start in a few days, and now the venue is filled with staff from various companies arranging the venue. Li Tianyu's company is called Yunguang Technology. After searching for a while, he finally found the company's premises. At this moment, Lu Manchi and Feng Yang are communicating with the employees of the cooperative venue decoration company. Li Tianyu walked over and listened for a while. He basically talked about some details, such as placing a flower basket here or a lamp tube over there. Several people discussed for a round and temporarily dispersed. Li Tianyu saw that he couldn't help much, so he bought a bottle of cola from the vending machine and sat leisurely in the nearby booth drinking. Lu Manchi and Feng Yang also came over in no time. Li Tianyu, how did you come? Lu Manchi asked curiously. Feng Yang sneered and said, he must be taking the subway. I can't take a taxi for so long. This belongs to field work, and the company can reimburse the taxi fare. You just need to keep your taxi ticket, Lu Manchi kindly reminded Li Tianyu. It's okay, I came by car, Li Tianyu replied calmly, driving. You. Lu Manchi and Feng Yang were both stunned upon hearing this. Isn't Li Tianyu without a car? Whose car did you drive here? Isn't this guy bragging? That's right, the poorer you are, the more you like to brag. Feng Yang was about to make a sarcastic remark when he saw someone from the exhibition company coming over. This person's name is Zhao Xiaolei, female, and she is the person in charge sent by the exhibition company to follow up on this project. Let me give you a suggestion. Zhang Jie, you say it, Lu Manchi replied. You'd better place a large item in the center of this venue to attract more visitors. Large items. What is a large item? Feng Yang asked. Zhao Xiaolei pondered for a moment and said, for example. Luxury cars. No, supercars and so on. End of this chapter.